Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Azura Striker Gunvolt Blind. On the last episode, we went to Sinner's Row, where we were supposed to take out the adept Zonda, but Zonda, a by gender uh, individual, had already been taken out by another antagonist faction, who went by the code name of Copen. I don't. It sounds like you could make a joke out of that the name, but I'm not really sure how it would go. With that, all the stage select uh, bosses have been reopened, including the ones we've done before. So, before we head out, let's talk to Jewel. That Copen guy seemed convinced he's more human than me. I guess he's not an adept. But his weaponry could mimic the septima of adepts I've fought. Something on your mind? A million things, but it's okay. You feel a little closer to Jewel. Does that, do we get the same thing if we do that? Yep, we still okay. Alright. So with that, um, we're gonna head out to here, I think. Let's see, like, look. Burning. Creepy place. I don't know. I like this guy's face. It reminds me of Gamagori from Kill a Kill. <laughs> Which is a dumb way to put of it, to think of it, but let's go for it. Oh, hey, Zeno's giving us uh, the mission briefing this time. You'll be interested in this mission. Cool needs you to hit a data store. Sumeragi uses it to bank clinical data for every ad adept they've tested on. Which means they might still have some files on you and Jewel. Gak that. Okay. Anytime he says Gak, I think I know what word he's supposed to be saying. So I'm just going to insert screw that instead, because Gak is a weird word. I'm not going to let them use what they did to her or me to hurt other adepts. When do I start? Heh. I thought you might feel feel that way, Jeeves. Let's go, then. This is a mission that, uh... Spintronics. A magnetic personality lurks amidst Sumeragi's labyrinths of data. Karara, who reaches Tora the intruder with greedy fists. Let's go! What the... Oh, okay, so... Um, okay, so the stage's mechanic is magnetism. Use the lure it over here, and then it goes back to a neutral, neutral-ish state. Guys are just leaving data files up oh, in the open. I can just take all those, you know. Let's see. So that's a cool mechanic. Now if I pull over here, oh, that guy gets annoyed if I start using my Septima. Make some money. And just kill you. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I don't know if they're killed or not. I want that, to tag that one. Or whatever, it's coming over. So it all works out. Alright, hold it. That's a really cool stage mechanic. Yeah, I like that. That's an awesome idea. Um, oh, oh wow. I'm appreciating the use of, uh, Gunvolt's abilities here. Alright. Oh, dear. I'm appreciating the use of it, doesn't mean I'm gonna be good at it. Alright, you don't- Spike's not instant damage in this game, so... I should keep that in mind as I try to... Alright, there's a- there's a little bit of footing here that I should have been standing on to begin with. Come on. Alright, I see what they will- I see how this is supposed to go, and I just suck at it! Alright. Yeah, because your Septima starts running out. Right. I can just, okay, I should have enough time to charge it up while I wait. There we go. Uh, it's like... Um, there we go. <laughs> Hit the spikes, but whatever. And that door's gonna lock on me. Or not. Okay. I thought it was, but maybe it's not going to. Come over here, buddy. Nope, back. I'll ride you. Ah! So... Something under here. And I wanna know what. 
You can get out of the way, though. Go away, please. So this is so far. This is I. I really like the design of the previous stage, the mid the mid stage of Sinner's Row. But as far as mechanics go, this is probably my new favorite stage. Just really cool use of uh, the game mechanics and. Um, did I just screw myself? Because I can't. What am I supposed to do? Okay. I can't go down, apparently. Um. Hello? Okay, I'm supposed to go through these platforms? I'm confused. Uh, game? Do, do I need to burn out? Because, like, that's right here. I'm really confused. I don't want to do game. Like, what am I supposed to do? I feel bad, I'm not able to figure this out. Um, that doesn't help with anything. So I'm like charge it up completely, and then discharge it. Am I, is, am I actually legitimately stuck? Because I can't go down. This is weird, can I destroy it? No. Worth the shot. And I can't kill myself. I guess I could try to. Uh, nope. You can not take damage if you burn out. What the hell, game? Uh, can I push it? Dash into it. Dash it. Like, uh, boom. Move over. No, it's stuck there. If I can move it just slightly to the left. But it won't let me do that. Let's try this. Nothing helps anything. I'm really confused. I'm really confused. Um. Say it's my favorite game and then this shit happens. My favorite stage and then this crap happens. Like, what the hell? I, I don't want to say it's an actual glitch because I highly doubt it. But what are, you, what, what are you supposed to actually do? Like, there's tiny little ports on there. Bring it over. Try to, like, short circuit it. I mean, if I could go down through these platforms, that would be helpful, but I can't. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry. Try everything. I'm used to pushing double down for platforms. That was ridiculous. That'll be, that'll be sped up. Um, I'm used to pressing double down for platforms. I'm not used to pressing down and jump, which is what it wanted me to press. So, at least I know how to do that now, so I don't get stuck in a later stage of that kind of thing. Alright, so, that was not the game's fault, as I expected. That was my own idea, you see. Hooray! All right, down and jump. That's how we get through those platforms. Everything makes sense now. And all was right with the world of gun bolts. Conveyor belts? This stage is everything awesome. I love conveyor belts. I don't know why. I have a really weird obsession with them. I mean, like, I'm not, like, super obsessed, but, like, anytime, like, at an airport, which admittedly has not been in a while... I really like watching the luggage claim where it comes down with all the luggage. I don't know, it just really amuses me. Same for like if you're at a grocery store or like Target or something. And it's like, here's this little conveyor belt thingy that pushes your uh, food slash products. And that's a ninja's dude sword guy. Um, I'm just going to ignore you. I hope that's okay. But yeah, I like I I like the uh, conveyor belts. I, they they're just very amusing to me. It I don't understand why, but they are. All right, is this a? Yes, it is. It's giving me the music. Goodbye. Okay, so after they get activated, one belt belt. Okay, maybe not. Is that it? Just two? No, there's gotta be more. I gotta jump up there, though. It, the reader says zero for some reason, though, which is weird. Maybe they don't count as real enemies. Um, did, did I miss one? 
So, oh, I gotta hit. I got. Oh, okay. Um. Jeez, that takes a long time to destroy that. So that's what that was about. Learning lots of new gameplay mechanics here in this stage. Which is good. It's good for me to learn this stuff so I don't freak out about it later. That minute and a half or so with that dumb jump was kind of ridiculous. Right. Oh, and now we have gravity fields. Like, wow. Oh, I, what, what did I get hit by? Oh, there's spikes, like, right there. That's a mean placement. Alright, so... If I activate my Septima, I can, I can float. This stage is awesome! Other than me being stupid, this stage is awesome. All these different mechanics it's making you use with the, with the gameplay... get over here first. Right. Woo! Uh, you can go away, though. I don't want you there. Oh, that those push you down, though. So let's let's go on the up. Let's go on the updraft. What, what did I just get? That was like a special thing. I don't know what it does. That's that's half this game. I don't know what's going on. But it's awesome, and we'll see. Okay, use that. See, oh my gosh, it's make it's, the stage makes you think a lot about the different gameplay mechanics, and that's awesome. It also makes me think about how I can't make a proper jump. Hooray! <laughs> I'm not gonna let that go. I'm gonna be very upset about that for the rest of the day now that I couldn't make that simple jump. All right. Um, there we go. Yeah. No, stay here. I need to ride this. Yeah. Now I got the conveyor belts in play. Yeah, you can go away, though. Yeah, this stage has been awesome. I hope the boss is as awesome uh, as this is. It was my favorite color, too. Everything about this stage is awesome, then. Got my favorite color, got cool gameplay mechanics. The boss design reminds me of Gamagor. I guess that's not really a huge pro, but. Come here. Oh. So, boss time or. More stage time. More stage time. And I'm okay with that. We're gonna, like, start mixing everything into the mix now. Get, uh, get this stuff. Get some of the stuff from earlier, get the gravity stuff. That would be awesome. Just saying. Right, get over here, please. Thank you. This is so cool! I'm gonna ignore that box over there, because I probably don't need it in the long run. I mean, if a lot of the gear you're given at the beginning of the game is the, kind of the best gear anyway, there isn't really much of a point, I feel, to getting some other gear. Which is weird. Alright. However, I do feel like there's probably something down here. Oh, no, there is not. There is not anything down here. That was a terrible choice. I don't know even why they even put that pathway there. Oh. Okay. Come. Now come again. And I'm just gonna zap through you. No. Oh, I have to do this really fast. Okay. You two are bothering me. Let's heal quick. Right. And then... Awesome gameplay. Alright, so this must be the boss then. Because he did our gate. I like that too. I like that uh, thematic thing of you have to like bust open a gate to get to the boss. That's kind of cool. Alright. There he is, this is the boss of the stage. Thou art Gunvolt, I pre Oh my gosh, this stage is amazing! I'm sorry, what? Did you just break out of thou? I'll not mince words, duty moveth me not, nor do I pretend to justice. I seek only to possess everything, including the honor of destroying thee. 
Mayhap fate placed me here for that very reason. I am Carrera. Carrera. I should look at this guy's voice actor. <laughs> now, come out, come thou at me. Let thy leaven be sur sundered betwixt fists of righteous magnetism. So he has power of magnetism. Huh? What are we doing? I have no idea what just happens. I got wrecked, though. I can destroy that with my lightning. Okay, let's watch out. Okay, that's what he's doing. He's got grabby hands going on. And then he smashes the grounds. Alright, phase one done. Oh, crap. I was hoping you were going to charge the other way. What are we doing? Okay, gotta do that. And then he's gonna do something, he's gonna punch that, and it's gonna explode. Oh. Alright. It's pretty easy to figure out boss pattern, even though I'm not doing very great. Okay, and destroy the debris with the electric field. The flash field, as it's technically called. See, I don't know which hand's supposed to go first and which one... Is it? Oh, they're doing multiple now. Heal. <laughs> Maybe Jewel save us. Maybe. Lumen, rather. I mean, they're technically the same person, but... Let's see it. Quasar Collapse. What does this do? Okay. Not a fun thing, is what it does. It is an instant kill attack. At least, he's a pretty easy to figure out boss otherwise. Yeah, okay, so that, that's pretty easy to avoid attack. I could have easily avoided that one, but I didn't. Phase two. I'm just gonna stand here and do this. Because I can. And run, two, stay on the grounds. Oh, no, one more. Stay on the grounds. There we go. Figure this guy out pretty well. I do want to kind of figure out how to do how to avoid that uh, magnetism attack though. Okay. And I don't know what you're supposed to do for that one either. It's kind of fun figuring out these bosses. I like that they're segmented into phases, so you can kind of figure out how they all work. I want to get out. 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 Uh, okay, that is not insta kill attack. It just does a crap ton of damage. Because I survived. Which means Jewel is not being helpful. Thanks, Jewel. Alright. Ow. Come on, Lumen. Lumen, help us out. Or don't. We killed them. We killed them without your help, Lumen. I wish I knew how to activate more of your songs so I could use them, because I want to hear some of that more vocal music. And I want to activate God Mode again, because that's so much fun when you can do that. Mission complete. Maybe there's like a, a gear that will help, uh, an accessory that will help that happen more often. Anyways, that was the end of the stage. That was a fun stage, that was a fun boss, except for that part where I thought he had an instant death attack. Um, 
Just overall, that was a great experience. Holy crap, and I thought the last stage was awesome. This stage is even better. Let's see, let's take the three star. Always take the rare thing. Obtained a jewel. Oh yeah, that's the thing I picked up. Do I, like, give it to... Ju so, do they all have them? Alright. Let's check synth gear quickly before we end this episode off. Boost ba band. Select, let's see, enables the wearer to perform an air hop while jumping. Ooh, I would like that. I would like that so much. I don't think that's going to get rid of the, uh, the, I like having the thing on that uh, we have that allows me to have technically two HP bars. And we have overflash pendant. Proto infrastructure, let's see what to do. Increases the flash field's attack power, but also the EP expenditure. Um, are we using any of these or anything else? Naga Sight. Um, I'm gonna hold off on making that thing, because that's... We use that for, uh, that's the slot we use that as the double HP thing. At least that's what I call it, anyway. Gear! Switch out the Quill Signet. Quill Signet, it does... It uh, accelerate recovery from overheating. I try my best not to overheat, so hopefully we can do this. This does expend EP, though, so I have to be careful about that. That sounds awesome, though. I'm excited. Let's talk to Jewel really quick, though. Hey, Jewel, I've got something for you. I took out the Jewel I found and gave it to her. Whoa, a Jewel! How much should I read into this? Har har, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's really nice, thank you. You feel a little closer to Jewel. So what happens if I talk to her again? Okay, so the same thing. So, is this gonna... Uh, I wonder what that does. I wonder what that activates. Now, so then that means that all these stages technically have jewels in them, and including this one? So I need to be more exploratory into these stages. Oh, wow, that adds an extra layer of depth to the game for me. Awesome! Awesome! I'm, I'm pumped now. Th this stage was a ton of fun. Holy crap. But I should probably end this episode off. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you're all having a great day. As always, I'm Kirby Volts, and I did my outro thing in the wrong order. <laughs> if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button, and if you want to see more Gunville action as we get into the later half of the game, please consider subscribing. Again, please have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, ciao.